my fellow warriors and welcome to another wish unboxing and review okay from now on i'm not gonna call it unboxing and review it because i'm no longer unboxing things uh in the videos it's actually just gonna be geek or wish review As a matter of fact i may stop calling it that i may just call it product review or something like that because i may start reviewing stuff that i get from like amazon and stuff like that i don't know um <clears throat> but for right now, uh, it's Geek and Wish uh, review, but this I'd, it's been a while since I've done one of these, and that's because, uh, yeah, I've just not ordered anything off of Geek or Wish for a while. But um, th this one that I'm about to review, I actually had the video recorded for it like a couple months back, and... I guess I accidentally deleted it or something like that because it, the video I couldn't find the video anywhere and so and I teased this on my Twitter account um, about three months ago something like that uh, and what I teased was the bottom of the box that this came in but anyway this is the top of the box this is what I'm reviewing uh, there's a, a uh, fact or a manufacturer or warehouse whatever label over the top of it but you can see it's I don't know why it says unity because this is uh, Kit Edward Kenway from Assassin's Creed Black Flag but anyway it's Assassin's Creed I know a lot of you out there don't like Assassin's Creed a lot of people don't like it started out being like a phenomenon you know amongst gamers but then they start putting a game out every single year, so people are like, oh, I'm so sick of this. So, yeah, a lot of people don't like Assassin's Creed anymore. But I've, I've loved it from the beginning. Well, I wasn't overly fond of the first one because of the fact you had to do side missions in order to, you know, move on with the next assassination. But anyway, I'm not going to discuss the games. I loved every game in the series so far. I know people had issues with various ones saying they were repetitive, but I'm very open-minded about games, music, movies, everything. So, yeah, I absolutely love every game in the Assassin's Creed. I haven't played Syndicate yet. I, I want to, but I've loved every game in the Assassin's Creed series but without fail. <clears throat> and I've beaten every one except one, and I haven't finished Unity yet. I need to do that, too. But anyway... Um, yeah, this item that I'm about to review, I bought for, I believe it was seven or eight bucks that included shipping. Um, and I personally think it's a bargain, but what it is, it's these. It's Assassin's Creed jewelry. It's got, it's got the four rings uh, all of them with the Assassin's logo, and then you got the two Assassin's logo necklaces, and then I'm not sure what, at first, I, I, I'm not sure what, what this symbol is for. If anybody out there knows, please let me know in the comments. Um, I couldn't remember what Abstergo's uh, symbol was, and I looked it up the other day, and that's not it. So I'm not sure what that logo is. But anyway, and then you got the, um, uh, the pins, they, um, they can pin on your hat, uh, jacket, whatever. And um, this one right here has got the skull for Edward Kinway on it. And then this one back here is just the assassin symbol. Um, but the honestly, the, the necklaces and everything, they're about as good quality as... I mean, they're, they're better quality than I expected them to be for the price of, of the set. Um, I expect everything to be super cheap. The, um, the pins on the back have, if, I don't know if you can see it very well or not. If I can get the camera to focus on it. But you can see where the, where the pin goes in, or the, 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 the poker, whatever, goes into the uh, the back of the pin. It's just kind of metal that's stuck out of the back of the pin that folds over and holds it into place. So that probably probably be pretty easy to to break. But I mean, outside of that, it says on the back UB Workshop. I'm not sure if 
actually Ubisoft that had these made or what? I mean, they had to have uh, approved of it or else it wouldn't you wouldn't be able to use the uh, the symbols. But anyway, as for the rings, like this one right here, they're, they're pretty heavy made. I mean, they're, they're metal, so I mean, obviously they're going to be a little bit heavy. But I mean, they feel pretty heavy made and good quality. The only issue is is the, the gold one and the, the, the chrome one or the silver one, that you could tell that it's just, you know, paint. So, I mean, I'm sure if you were to actually wear these, that um, that they would, you know, when you hit it on something, it would chip off the, the paint pretty easy. But these other two here, I don't, I don't know if these are nickel and brass or, or what they are, but these two are ones that you could probably actually wear pretty pretty you know pretty much all the time i mean outside of getting dinged you know a little bit there's no paint to chip off i mean they both look like they're pretty good quality and i mean they only fit on my pinky because i got big fingers but but yeah they're they're really nice quality as far as i'm concerned i mean for seven or eight bucks for an entire set that's not bad um and but like I said, I got I got I actually I didn't say it. I got I got these off of Wish. I'll give you another close up view of them here. But I I got these off of Wish, and uh yeah I I, I saw them and I was like man I love Assassin's Creed you know and I got this the this these video game action figures and stuff like that you know on my wall and you know this would be perfect for the studio so i went and bought you know went ahead and ordered the set since it was so cheap and i'm very pleased with it to be honest i mean it, that would make a perfect christmas gift for somebody or a birthday gift somebody who's an assassin's creed nut you know like myself um it, yeah i i love it i think it's awesome and you know i i highly recommend it uh i i would rate this an eight out of ten the only reason you know it's not a perfect 10 for me is because i mean like i said the the two the silver and gold rings and well and the silver and gold necklaces or just the necklaces in general she you know have got paint on them so again if you scrape them on something or bang them against something the chips gonna paint off or scratch off so they won't stay looking pretty forever and the pins you know like i said that if you get them caught on something just could snap i mean they, they feel nice and sturdy but like i said with just the metal flaps folded over holding the the sticker in place you know it's you know it could easily snap one of those little little metal uh flaps off and you'd lose your pin so that's the, my only issue with it, but outside of that, you know, I do recommend this. It's it's a very good product as far as I'm concerned. I, I was very happy with it, and like I said, you know, at the very least, it's good for display. And I and everybody I've had in here that that's that's seen it, you know, that they're like, oh, cool, where'd you get that, you know, or 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 you know, oh, that's neat, what's that, you know, people who don't know, you know, what Assassin's Creed is, you know, they're like, oh, that's cool, you know, where where's that from, you know. So yeah, I again, I highly recommend it. It's worth it's worth the seven or eight dollars. Well, that's it. Thank you for joining me on this episode of uh, Wish Item Review. I am the Holy Warrior. God bless you all.